What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. One of the defenses that just benefited really heavily in the Knights of Dragonfall update are the snakes. Uh, snakes got a raw damage buff, uh, which is just quite nice, and they are doing very, very well. So, Doing this build, this is my favorite fireworks map. Uh, I think most people already know that. When it comes to uh, doing maps or running a map with using like laser beam type defenses or just shooting many, many fireworks off in the air, it just doesn't get any better than the Molten Citadel in my personal opinion. So we're here on Chaos 10 Molten Citadel. We're gonna give these snakes a shot. We're running uh, anti-melee, anti-chaos and defense rate with ramping beam destruction and mass destruction. Now, of course, we are going to need some walls for this build, so I threw in my lovely werewolves. Uh, this is just set up as a generic wall right now. Uh, juggernaut automation, werewolf general with defense rate, protective downgrade, and hardened servo. Using that werewolf general for a little bit more of a damage buff on my snakes here. So uh, I've got four snakes on each of the outside lanes, three snakes on the inside. So we do have one weak lane we're going to have to keep an eye out for. And we've got 400 mana left over, so let's uh, actually let's throw that in to our weak side lane. I think would make the most sense. Um, actually, we can get let's go three there, and then two there. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it goes for a wave. Um, of course, the chieftains are just going to get slapped uh, at the walls. I don't have any anti-heal in here. I wanted to see really what they would do uh, without having anti-heal. Uh, so I've got Destructive Pylon on a Frost Strike Aura and then on two Oil Geysers. I just have those tucked in over on the sides here. But let's uh, check it out. Here comes our first Chieftains now. One of them didn't even make it to the wall. And um, yeah, no problem. They are just getting wrecked. So. Snakes are definitely in a good way. Now, I still, I personally, I kind of wish that multiple beams would attack one target. But I also recognize the fact that they're balanced around a single beam attacking a target. So if multiple beams were to attack a target, then it would just be, you know, extremely, extremely broken. Uh, if you look, though, a lot of my stakes aren't even getting action. That's the downside with using so many snakes, is a lot of the snakes are going to sit there and not do anything. Uh, this guy over here, I don't believe, has even fired a single beam yet. Or he's fired a little bit, but uh, not a whole lot. And it's the reason is there's just not enough targets for the number of beams. Like, we've got 12 beams over here on this side. And, um, you know, other than, like, right now, the majority of the lane, there has not been 12 beams going there. So... The snakes are just wrecking it. Here comes another chieftain. Let's watch him with uh, no countess buff. Yeah, chieftain still just got slapped. Another uh, big old ice cube chieftain over here. Taking a little while longer to kill him, but he eventually got slapped. And in pretty good shape, so... The snakes are definitely a viable uh, defense, particularly for farming. Uh, if you're doing farming chaos 10 or if you're uh, doing any of the lower lower end content meaning like uh, prior to floor 950 in onslaught or prior to say 200 in survival uh, these are going to be quite valid actually maybe even 150 in survival uh, 200 might be a little bit high for these guys but they are doing really really well their only limiting factor in my opinion is having it so only one beam can attack an enemy. Now, of course, you can get around that by playing actively on the Mystic and uh, throwing knives out everywhere, and that is going to uh, make multiple beams attack one target. But besides that, as far as just general play goes, it's kind of tough to really warrant using these as a main defense. Now, they're a pretty darn awesome, like, fill-in defense, you know, if you just threw like one or two per lane and then used other defenses as well, I think in that situation they could do quite good. But here, like with four of them in a lane, it's just too many. So we watch here when the when the lane fires up and starts or the wave fires up and starts. 
You see so many of those snakes are just sitting there not doing anything. And that is just, uh, you know, it's just too many snakes. Too many snakes. But there is a look at the snakes. Let's go ahead and bounce on forward to wave number five and see how they hold up here in the final wave. And here we go with wave number five. I'm going to stay off the Countess in this final wave just so you can see the snakes uh, without any sort of uh, glorious boosting or whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and throw as many upgrades as we can. You see I prioritize the snakes all the way around. Uh, just getting them upgraded. Actually, it appears I missed that guy. And uh looks like we're out of juice. We do have a Slakelion right here. So we'll be able to see uh, Snake versus Slakelion. Only 69 million health, so... Not an extremely dangerous one. But, you see, he's still just getting chomped away. Uh, like he's nothing. So, I mean, snakes are definitely good. I know that the Mystic is um, a favorite of many. Uh, I know that there's the snakes themselves are a favorite of many. And it's it's the time of the snake, y'all. Get your snakes out and get them beaming. Plus, they're just cool. I mean, laser beams are cool, right? I mean, the only only issue we have here is we need more laser beams. So we might want to mix in uh, something that gives a little bit more firework value here. But uh, here we go. We got a cannon ogre and a regular ogre. Let's check these guys out as they come in. Uh, looks like the regular ogre is just going to be zonked here before he even hits the stairs. Uh, cannon ogre now. Cannon ogre down. So yeah, those guys just get blazed. Uh, it's a good... It's definitely a solid setup. I mean, it's very spammable. It's 30 DU. So you can put a bunch of them down. Um, with that in mind, it also gets really good upgrade value. And then, of course, uh, the scaling, the damage scaling as it ramps up is quite impressive as well with that ramping beam shard. But yeah, Sand Vipers looking quite schnazzy, that is for sure. Just eating through this pack. I think the right recipe is to maybe have two per lane, though. If you have two of them, and then you throw in something else, like maybe get uh, some kind of AoE defense, um, get a little, uh, like, Sonic Bat action or something crazy like that. I think that would be a real, real nice addition to the snakes and another cool-looking projectile going down the lane. But everything is just getting slapped. Uh, we'll leave quibs, but I'll burn out these flyers here. And, uh, I see Quibs died before I looked. So, Snake's good. Snake's good. Uh, but let me know what you think about the Snakes. Uh, obviously this is a rebalance. Uh, you might say 15% is not that big, as it did get a 15% damage boost. But 15% 15 damage boost is pretty huge. If this was a 15% nerf, we would all be throwing a fit right now. So, enjoy your 15% damage buff. On the snakes, um, they seem to be doing quite well. They are doing quite well indeed. But that will do it for this episode. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.